A free pro Q alternative for real? Well, probably is not good on something because no, let me spoiler this. This plugin is not just a pro Q3 free alternative, but it's also better. So let's give it a look. Hey, this is important. If you usually just watch videos about plugins because other stuff are the same things over and over or you never find anything useful or different, I tried different kind of comments myself and these get buried. I decided so to make that kind of comments on my Patreon. But most importantly there, I really want to follow requests and stuff from anyone who supports me. So write me your needs, let me know where you really struggle or just your general questions and I'll prepare some comments that hopefully will help you. The idea is to create a community of people who is really really looking to improve leaving the influencer marketing playground we find everywhere. Where infos cannot really be trusted because of interest or just because many audio creators don't share their music. So how can you trust a random guy who hasn't proven he can do a real record? And by the way, I'm not trying to cover up the truth. You find my music on my channel. So let's focus on what really matters, how to improve our music. So join my master level on my Patreon and let's talk about real things. Now let's get to the video. First of all, this EQ comes with all the shapes you need. And that's great, cause not every EQ, even the paid ones, comes with all these shapes, like the one I usually use that doesn't have bandpass. Let's take a look at the plugin now. Let me just focus on what really matters to keep the video as focused and useful as possible. If something isn't clear about the plugin options I'm gonna show you, don't worry, cause I will share with you what I think are the best settings. We have two different filter structures, transpose and state variable. The first one is like natural phase on Pro-Q, while the second one comes with a stronger phase shift at higher cues, and so is not suggest to be used on parallels and correlated signals. Then we can turn the EQ on zero latency if you work on real time, otherwise just keep it off. In the output setting we find scale to increase or decrease the curves. Then we have two different automatic gain compensation method. The first is SGC, my favorite here, because it kinda mathematically guess the loudness difference. And so if you boost frequencies, the plugin will take down the overall volume to give you the same loudness. So you can take better decisions instead to go for something just because louder feels better. AGC is basically a kind of vocal writer that constantly changes the volume, so it acts like a compressor and it changes too much the sound. So I suggest you to keep that one off. Then we have dynamic. Here we can decide to enable and increase look ahead for a more precise compression and expansion for the dynamic bands. If your computer is good enough, you can also switch HQ on for more detail. So here you find my best settings for the most user case. If what I told you right now is a bit more complicated, just copy what I show you here. On the bottom we find all the options to shape the curves. Here we can decide the curve type, the slope, placement, frequency, gain and Q. Then we find the dynamic section and here we have something that isn't present on Pro-Q3. We can enable dynamic clicking on the sign button. Then we can make both gain and Q to be dynamic. And this is very handy. Also because we can have a static curve with a certain shape while the dynamic ones very different. As you see this is very cool and we can also make the gain or cut to be progressive. So the more you boost or cut, the narrow or broad the curve becomes. Dynamic EQ are just compressors applied to a specific frequency region. And so we also have the usual compressor settings. Here we also have the button with the letter A that enables the automatic threshold. And the letter S is used to enable the external sidechain when needed. The last very cool feature is something again not present on Pro Q3. Usually on EQs when you enable a dynamic section, it just listens the same band to apply the dynamic boost or cut. While here we have an internal sidechain option, we can tell the plugin to hear 
elsewhere in the spectrum. So in the following example, let's simulate an EQ on a drum bus. I will enable the band where the snare is with a dynamic cut, but the detection point instead to be on the snare itself will be on the kick. So we can notice when the kick hit, the higher frequency gets cutted, but when the snare is alone, doesn't get touched. Probably we need to wait for Pro-Q4 to do that, but certainly it won't be free. While this one is free, and it's already here. The plugin right now isn't even at version 1, but 0.25, and so it's still in development, and probably other features and improvements will come. I hope you found this video useful and that it saved you some money. While tools can be free or paid, what you cannot find an alternative for is your knowledge. So invest this spared money on yourself. On my Patreon, you find not just useful stuff, but a place tailored for the community and that's the best way to improve. Check the link in the description and feel free to make your questions if you have. See you in the next one. Ciao!